Well, just about everything in the Trump administration has been controversial so far, including how he spends his weekends. Nearly all of them have been at his private club, Mar-a-Lago, in Palm Beach, Florida. He calls it the Winter White House and now the Southern White House, now that it's spring. And those pricey trips are coming under scrutiny from a government watchdog. Our political analyst, John Keller, is here tonight to look at this. And, John, other presidents have always been questioned about their travel costs. So it's a pretty familiar issue. Yeah, it certainly is, Paula. And this new inquiry by the Government Accountability Office was prompted by a request from several Democrats, including Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Among the issues under review, just how much are these Florida getaways costing the taxpayers? I'm not going to have time to go play golf and believe me. So said candidate Trump. But as president, it's been a different story. Trump has made five trips to his Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Florida, during his first two months in office. And at an estimated minimum cost of $3 million per trip in cost to the taxpayers, the bills are adding up. This is part of, of being president. There is no such thing as a non-working vacation for a president, and Trump is hardly the first to face criticism over the cost of these so-called personal trips. Liberals slammed George W. Bush for his frequent visits to his ranch in Crawford, Texas. Conservatives skewered Barack Obama for his trips to Hawaii in the winter and Martha's Vineyard in the summer. But a rough comparison of the available data and estimates of presidential travel costs shows Trump is on course to make his predecessors look frugal. In eight years, Bush's trips to the ranch and his parents' home in Kennebunkport cost an estimated $30 million in travel expenses. Obama's eight-year tab for those trips to Hawaii and the vineyard, upwards of $90 million. But if Trump keeps up his pace of travel to Mar-a-Lago, he'll rack up $120 million in travel costs in just four years. Is he planning to cut those back at all, given his feelings about the priorities for the Americans' tax dollars? I, I think that is a, a vast reach to suggest. I mean, the, the presidents, presidents always travel. Now, the watchdog agency is also looking at security issues raised by the president's use of Mar-a-Lago. But as these numbers show, this perennial issue is being fueled now by the sheer scale of the bills Trump is running up. Paula, Liam? We'll see how deep into the spring the trips to Mar-a-Lago go. John Keller, thanks so much.